Hello and welcome to the Deduced Framework. In this tutorial, I will show how the Deduced Framework can be used to quickly create a simple application to track Agile projects. This tutorial is composed of three parts. In the first part, I will create the schema. In the second part, I will create the view layer. In the third part, I will enhance the view layer by creating a burndown chart. Now, let's start by creating our schema. First, I will start by creating the classes I need for my application. So, the first thing I will do is create a package in which I will store my classes. Next, I will create a few classes. So, the first class I will name Agile. This is my main class for my application. The second class I will name Sprint. So, this is where I will store all the information related to a single Agile Sprint. And the third class will be a task. And the fourth class will be what we call a work event that will track the work that is actually done on each task. So we have an agile containing sprints, containing tasks, containing work events. Now let's start from the top by creating associations. First of all, I would like all of my collections to be named so that everyone can see their name and edit them easily. So what I have to do for this is I have to find the name property collection. I can copy it and then I can paste it on my work event, on my task, on my sprint, on the agile application. And now all my classes inherit from the name property collection, which will automatically add them a name property. Next. I will create the fields of my Agile application. First, I will create a list of Sprint. The list of Sprint will be composed of a property list. So I select the property list and paste it here as a type. The list fixed instance will be an actual Sprint. Next, I will associate the sprint to the sprint type. Now, I have defined my application to contain a list of sprints. And next, I will do the same thing for the list of tasks within a sprint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste the sprint list property, but tailor it to my current need. I want to make it a task list. So all I have to do is rename it so the name makes sense. And I have to change the association from sprint to task. There we go. The list is now associated with tasks. Next, I will do the same thing for my tasks and associate them with work events. Again, I drag and drop and my list is now associated to work event. Now, what does it mean to have a work event? Well, a work event is really a date at which I spend some time, and there's also another field which would be used to track the, the amount of time I believe I have left to complete the task. So I will create three properties. The first will be the date of the work event and I will associate the calendar type to my date. The next one will be the time spent. For this one, I will associate the type double. The next one will be the time remaining, for which I will also associate the time double. Now, my work event is complete. Now, for a task, what I would like to know at any point in time is, well, of all the work events on my task, which one is the latest? Which one represents the up latest up-to-date information that shows me if the task is complete and how much time is remaining on it? I will then create a new instance to track this, in this link, which we'll call latest work event. This one will be a reference and I will, it will be a reference of type work event. Now, for my sprint, some information that might be useful to know is 
Well, when does my sprint start? When does my sprint end? How much time has been spent so far? How much time is remaining? So I will track all these information in different properties. So I will track the start date. I will track the end date. I will associate the calendar type to end date and start date. I will also track the time spent and the time left. And I will associate the double type to each of those properties. And this is it. My schema is now created. In theory, I can go in my model layer and create my agile application. And within it, I can create a few sprints. Select the start and end date. So my friend sprint starts today and ends at the end of the month. I can create the second sprint, make it start at the beginning of the next month, and end at the end of the next month. And within each sprint, I can create a few tasks. And within each task, I can also create a few work events. So, for instance, the test, the application task, could have a work event, which has been done yesterday. And the time remaining, I know that I have 10 hours left of work to do, and I've already spent 20 hours on this task. I can do the same thing for all my tasks. So, time spent let's say for this one two hours and the time remaining two hours and implement the application I have 60 hours left and I've spent 10 hours on this task now maybe I've also had other work events for this one where in the past I've also spent another 10 hours that was done last week and the time remaining at the time was 70 hours. 